Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa and Diva is being buffed on the PTR. Now, I had a load of concerns with Diva. In fact, they were major concerns and I put them into a video uh, and this went out a couple, of, a couple of days ago. The reason for this video was I think Diva is fun to play. I like the micro missiles ability. I think she's just a more involving hero to play. The problem is though, I firmly believe she's an ultimate battery in her current state. And it looks like the devs have agreed with this. There's been a lot of feedback over, you know, all of the different reddits concerned with Overwatch on the official forums, like YouTube content, loads of stuff. There's tons and tons of feedback going into Blizzard. And it looks like they're starting to respond. Because we've got a post here from Jeff Goodman, who is, of course, the principal game designer. So he is concerned with hero balance, hero design, game design, basically everything, right? But generally, he's the one who makes comments and makes posts on major hero changes. So this is what he says in response to a thread which says, Diva feedback from a launch week Diva main in Grandmaster. Uh, that player gives a lot of feedback, but Jeff comes in with this comment. Thanks for the comprehensive feedback. The missiles were a bit too strong at their previous values, especially considering you can now fly and shoot them at the same time. Even at the reduced value, they still pose a serious threat if you can land a majority of them on a single target, especially when used in combination with her weapons and flight. Which, of course, this is the combo I was speaking about. So if you fly towards a target while firing the fusion cannons and firing missiles into them, you won't hit them with all the missiles, but if you can hit them with, like, maybe 40% of the missiles and then you smash the mech into them while continuing to fire at them, that is a lot of damage. Um... Anyway, Jeff goes on to say, That being said, there is another change coming to the PTR soon, maybe tomorrow, that will help her out quite a bit. The defense matrix regeneration rate is increasing by 25%. This lets her generally use defense matrix more often, while still keeping the new two second cap on a single use. So that's huge. And then he just goes on to say, If you get a chance, please try this out. Please try out this new change and let us know how she feels, both playing her as well as against her. By playing her, I can't seem to read for some reason. Let me just try that again, ladies and gentlemen. If you get a chance, please try out this new change and let us know how she feels, both playing as her as well as against her. Ideally, she still feels a lot less oppressive to fight against, but gains more flexibility in how often she can use it for both keeping herself alive as well as her teammates. Now. What this actually translates to in terms of raw numbers, I think, is we're looking at a defense matrix that normally took 10 seconds to recharge, okay? Now, it should probably take about eight seconds to fully recharge. Now, what I mean by this is when you completely deplete the defense matrix, so you hold down your defense matrix button for two seconds, the whole defense matrix is gone. It takes 10 seconds for that to regenerate. Now, it will only take eight seconds. This is actually a pretty huge buff. The problem with D.Va, and this is always gonna be the problem with D.Va, is defense matrix. It is what defines this hero. Without defense matrix, she's not D.Va. She needs defense matrix because she's such a big target she takes a lot of damage and it's very easy for dps players like soldier 76s mccree's any kind of hit scan tracers even farah uh, although she's projectile to farm diva for ultimate charge because she's so big now roadhog had this issue and i covered this in my previous video where i spoke about some major concerns with diva they fixed roadhog because roadhog now when he uses take a breather takes 50 percent less damage and some of the ideas i was putting forward for diva changes were along the lines of you know maybe she could have a different ability they like to give heroes new abilities now so this is not completely off the table which maybe does something like which reduces damage on her mech maybe defense matrix does that to her anyway or something like that but instead it looks like they're still going down the route of wanting to tinker with defense matrix which does make sense it's the easiest thing to do I do think, though, that the initial nerf on Defense Matrix might have been a little bit too strong, but it looks like they're slightly buffing that now. She needs Defense Matrix, right? But Defense Matrix needs to be an ability you use as a almost like a skill shot, something you use to counter what the enemy are going to do, not something that you just put up 24-7 and just hope that you catch projectiles, catch ultimates and all that stuff. So we can't ever really go back to that. I think this Diva, guys, is going to be a massive point of discussion going forward. And I think she's going to see more and more changes because... One minor change either way can make her super strong or can make her really, really weak. And at the moment, I don't think she's that strong. I mean, I had the privilege of watching a couple of pro scrims um, the other night and the D.Va was just not great. Like, D.Va was not really doing anything to the point of she was just being, well, not used at all because she was too easily farmable. So, guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments below. If you are a D.Va main, let me know. D.Va's in a very interesting position right now. She's fun to play. 
But is that going to turn into an effective hero? We'll have to wait and see. Guys, I've been Salosa. This is Unit Lost. You can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming. Subscribe to the channel, like the video if you indeed did like the video, and join the Discord, which is discord.gg forward slash Unit Lost. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Toodaloo.